so that it pisses me off more because Genesis, I can just be like, yeah, fuck that piece of shit. I don't give a fuck. But with this one, it's a direct sequel. Like, it's treated properly as a direct sequel. So we're fucked. It's just fucked. Fuck it, I'm not watching this piece of shit. So, as per usual, I'm gonna have to explain a couple of things. A catch-up, if you will, from the previous three we've watched. Um, first of all, someone was saying that we were making fun of um, the guy for, like, fiddling with the gun. When he was fiddling with the gun <laughs> because he was trying to find the tracker. Uh, Rags actually <laughs> mentioned the tracker. Like, we were all... Happily yeah, that's what he was looking for, yeah. Yeah, we know that. Mm -hmm. it, the point was that he was looking at it like a fucking retard. In full view of he people. He was, like, fiddling around like an actual dumb person. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, the, and the fact that when Batwoman comes in, he's like, Oh, shit! It's like, what the fuck? Oh. Lock your door if you're gonna look at the, like, incriminating evidence. But, like, it's still stupid. Insanely stupid. How did, uh, the question, how did Alice break into the Crow's house when there's a guard in there? Like, was he just aloof? Is there any security systems? Remember, she applies makeup, plays with the fucking photos, just looking around, then the guard is like, Oh, Alice, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like, uh, what? Um, she kills him without a second thought. He seemed almost like he wanted to reason with her when it's like, shouldn't you be stopping her? Yeah, he didn't, thought, like, reach uh, for his gun or anything. Yeah. I think- I thought he was meant to be, like, on the inside, because she was wearing the- the yeah, uniform, yeah. so I figured he was on the inside. That's why I was like, Whoa, I'm gonna uniform. kill my- I'm gonna kill my own men, because I'm the villain! Well, I was gonna well, say, I mean, it's her, stupid her either way. Was to get, I guess to get that guy shot and killed in the first episode, so, <laughs> yeah, she'll do that. The fact, the, just the way that he says it, I'm like, oh, was he supposed to be in on it, and then she killed him for, like, no reason? I, I don't know, I guess we'll- maybe we'll find out more yeah, about that. Yeah, she's crazy and quirky. No, I think she's just a murderous psychopath. When Dad Crow finds out that he's in his house, and that a guard might even be dead, like, for all he knows, he doesn't phone to have people search or protect things in his house or even go there. He just immediately goes to the elevator with his wife to head home. Yeah. It's um, really weird. His his ability to make decisions is insane, especially going over the first episode again. Like this guy's worthless. He just stands worse. around and just does he nothing. He is hugely incompetent at his job. In fairness, uh, this is a world where like men are stupid, so it is consistently <laughs> a part of it. Okay, guys. He, he does ask co act consistent for his gender. Yes. Um. So <laughs> Bruce had a weapon that can penetrate the bat suit in case someone stole the suit. That's what the episode tells us. Someone did steal his suit, and the butler's helping them. So, lol. <laughs> I don't even feel like it's a good, <laughs> yeah. good job of that. Uh, secondly, he says uh, it's the most lethal weapon the Batman ever built. When he has like a uh, shotgun, well, it's more listen. It's more, more lethal, lethal than, than the, the bat, bat shotgun and the bat cross. I mean, I'm happy to agree that it might be more lethal than them. But the thing is, if they both kill, then. I thought Batman didn't kill people. I thought well, that was his thing. That was gonna be my other point. It's like, why the fuck would Batman build a weapon to stop someone in his suit in a manner that kills them rather than disabling them? Yeah, like, <laughs> a, like, a, them. like a like a stun shocky thing. He already um, has. Why don't you just use the uh, defibrillator that's built into the bat suit? So exactly. then they put it on, and they're like, "I'm gonna get you, Batman!" Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he can, he can defibrillate <laughs> anyone at a distance. <laughs> Like a really good point, <laughs> but okay. It's actually a really good point. <laughs> um, so, crazy billionaire. His plan would have meant nothing if nobody went into the elevators. Imagine if he did it. Yeah, there was nobody there. Was, there was like, a oh, bunch, shit. There was a bunch of servers which just seemed to happen to be in there. I don't know why. Three of the like tertiary characters, or let's just say secondary characters, discussing something because they all left. Why did they even go in there? They were like, we have to protect her because of Alice, right? It was Al it was an unrelated event. Like, it wasn't I'm the billionaire yeah, yeah. causing it. The, uh, it, it was, yeah. They they left because of Alice, and I guess he just had an opportune <laughs> moment arise. <laughs> He's like, oh, why is everyone heading to the elevators in a panic? I guess I'll spring my plan into action because, coincidentally, Kate Kane has just walked into my office while I was fiddling with the gun that I stole. It's just a mess. It is an absolute mess of writing. It's um, insane. When, when Butler Man was teaching her about the Tism gun. That means that there's two Tism guns, and the, the guy only stole the one Tism gun. Like, that seems weird. And he, he also didn't steal anything Tism else. Guns. Yeah, it's kind of weird. weird. You feel mm -hmm. like you'd steal more than one thing to just cover your tracks, you know? Yeah, like, even then, to distract. If you, if you break yeah. into someone's house and steal, like, the one thing, <laughs> and it's just like, cool, so we, we know motive, at least, right? They wanted this one thing. Oh, it has a unique, specific purpose? Wow, that's interesting. Oh, Almost oh, like we can one you. weapon that can penetrate Batman's suit. I wonder what he's up to. So we kind of addressed this as well, but I still want to highlight it more so, is that um, <laughs> when he explodes that first one, 
it happens to send this specific explosion that fires through a wall and hits Batwoman. Like, yes. what? <laughs> like, none of the other ones do that. It's so weird. It's just like, oh, it, it knocked her over, damn it. It's like, what? Did he plant that specifically to do that? Like, it, it, I could believe it to it's a degree if he, like, made any kind of reference to how he was like, I've got a backup way to try and win this fight. He's trying to, like, get her in position or something. But no, he's just one of the elevators. I think, Fring, you kind of addressed this, but, like, uh, she's spent the whole show being concerned that putting on the suit causes trouble. Yet, like, yep. when people are yeah, dying... Yeah, she lets Alice leave. I was gonna to, say, when to people, people are dying again. and bleeding to death around her, she even, like, nearly addresses it herself, she leaves to go and pick up the suit while commenting on, like, how much better than Batman she is. Yeah, that which is, is the thing strange. that really... That, I mean, obviously... This infuriates me for very obvious reasons. I was gonna say it's absolutely like one of the biggest tests you can give a superhero that wants to hide their identity is to put them in a position where they can help people now, or they can hide their identity and then help people. And she's just like, "Yeah, you guys wait, I'll be back." <laughs> it's like, yeah. What the fuck? And, and I, I, I also, customized the bat suit. I, I, I just I like how uh, I like how judgmental she is of uh, Batman as well. You know, he's been saving Gotham for several years, and then he leaves. For, for a reason that's total bullshit. Like, Batman's not just gonna leave because he fucked up once. Um, but, but whatever. He leaves and it's like, well, Bruce, you're a piece of shit. You left. It's like, well, hasn't he done enough? Holy shit. How much does he have to do before you... Oh, but you're better because you've been here for, like, three days. You stole this shit. And then you let a mass murderer go free. But, uh, oh, I'm not Batman. Maybe I'm... <laughs> How old do you think, uh, Billionaire Man is, by the look of him? 30, maybe? All right, fine. How old do you think Kate Kane is? We're looking at her. Probably like thirty, just 30. under. All right, thirty. So about thirty. Billionaire Man was Bruce's childhood friend. Bruce was Batman when he saved Kate as a little girl. Oh, so he should be like fifty years old then, right? Yeah. He looks very young for how. <laughs> I think they don't care. <laughs> like, oh well. <laughs> how fuck it. dare you? One of the top comments was, uh, "Is the main character retarded and can't see that it's a dubby on the floor?" Because why does she say, "What happens when they start threatening real people?" <laughs> with my... uh, no, the point of the episode was supposed to be like, "The dummy is a threat. The people will come next." You know, but it it doesn't achieve that message at all. It needs to be a real person. I don't know why they would just have a real person then have that addressed, even though it's a complete ripoff of the Dark Knight, like I said, but yeah. yeah. It's so weird to have the dubby because the audience is left like, oh, it's a dubby. <laughs> like, why do we care? <laughs> People have been making top comments about it's an Aristotle thing. I, 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 didn't, I don't have <laughs> else to say. I just think that's funny. <coughs> Such a cringe line. Yeah, uh, some people were like, how can she possibly hold the weight of the elevator herself with the grappling hook? And uh, to, to protect the show, to defend the show. We were introduced to the dual uh, bat grapple. And so the, she shoots one above it and below it, and so the idea is that it, it, it attaches to something at the top, and then it holds the thing at the bottom. Every single thing we said about it is still fucking r valid. It's really stupid. The whole thing is really stupid, but it's not her holding it. Um, it's like tied up or... Yeah, it, it, just think of something. it as a stick that fires a, a claw out of either end. Or it yeah. And um, yeah, the only other thing I was interested in is just um, let us know, I'll try and read as many comments as I can, but let us know if you found this just through Batwoman. That was it. Like, what you're watching. I'm curious if there's people who are watching this who are like, I don't know what EFAP is, but I like these guys' reaction to Batwoman. <laughs> I guess people just really want to know how crappy Batwoman is. I think more people hate watch Batman than Batwoman than <laughs> watch it, unironically. Yeah, I was gonna say, more ironic watches than watches. But anyway, you guys ready? Yeah. I guess I am. Previously on Batwoman. Why didn't he find her? I thought they found uh, he was fucking they busy. One fragments. missing girl. He's got a city to watch over. You know. She's your daughter. <laughs> that was really bad. Uh, she's That's your daughter. daughter. It is personal. <laughs> is this Catwoman? Oh, please no, no. Relax. It could be anybody. Please don't tell me. Oh, nice. Gonna... What is that? Quick, look what? at him. <laughs> <That's> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no! Yeah. What an opening! Yes! What we're back! Your... We're back! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Third bling theft in a week! 
this time nearly killing a guard in the process. Nearly? Nearly? Who is he nearly, was, he nearly killed? <laughs> what has Batwoman actually done for the city? Why do they expect this person to do something about jewel thieves? I don't actually know. Oh, wow, moving fast. That one literally risked her life to um, the city. Okay. Women don't oh, look heard? that prim in the morning. <laughs> I'll <laughs> fucking guarantee goddamn tea you then. I mean, they're wearing makeup. Like, yeah. oh. so I thought they just went to sleep. They were fucking making like a pair of shears and everything all night, but... I guess they're fine now. They look great. They mm -hmm. look beautiful. <laughs> what are you thrusting into? <laughs> <laughs> it's urgent, bad Where devil. Are you? <laughs> bad, <that laughs> oh my god, bad emoji. My friend type thing. Uh, girlfriend? Because that's what that just sounded like. You are not wow. allowed to be friends with any females except me. You come over super late. You leave before yeah. breakfast. I feel like I could date you and start a new hobby. Good, that's called a healthy relationship. Okay. We get it, she's gay! Sylvia is so in love about how she can't balance the relationship with her Batwomaning. You obviously have a lot going on. I'm sorry. Brad Morrison told all the kids at school that I was Hey, gay. isn't that the same motorcycle that Batwoman I said, <laughs> yeah, and? I've been out and proud as long as I can remember. So how the hell am I supposed to wake up every morning and hide who I am? I think she's referring to, to being totally. gay. No, I yeah. thought she was connecting hiding Batwoman with hide. She's oh, like being gay. But that, so. that's a to that's totally not analogous. <laughs> I know. Like, <laughs> to represent strong women and pillars of their community. Oh, is this knows. what we're doing for this episode? I'm seeing someone. So while you've been that, what is this? Magpies what is this? Again. They're adults. She nuked the In place theory. last night. She nuked the place last night. She nuked the, the place? Yard. I'll have our security team bring the necklace to the event tomorrow. You can never be too careful. So Just like post that she's... a dozen guards around it and hide it in a huge, massive vault. Public yeah. knowledge that she's taken over Wayne know. Enterprises' what building? <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, can she, she just do that? Can she just show up and take over a company? So. Until he tells us Alice's grand plan. Or he dies. Were you this annoying when Batman took people prisoner? I don't think he took prisoners. <laughs> Which Batman are we talking about? <laughs> Why are you just, so like, just standing just casually just while and... he's, like, dying? I was gonna say, they're on? like, oh, fucker is dying. Ugh. <laughs> What am I looking at right Wait, now? Why, what? This seems illegal, though. This yeah, seems very illegal. <laughs> <laughs> the mother and the daughter, I guess that's their graves. So... Oh, fuck, it is Alice. Shh. Your driver's How did you not me. see them? Do you not have, like, security with you? She just broke into your house! Oh, like, this is the middle of- This is a public cemetery in the middle of the day. You know, the thing I love about bad guys is that despite ourselves, we are also tragically predictable. Oh, predictable. oh, I'm a bad guy, guys. I'm a bad guy. Who talks okay. like this? I, I, brought, I brought my Bioshock cosplayers. We're going to do evil things in broad <laughs> daylight in a public quick, place. Guys. <laughs> Developing a very top secret weapon. How'd you find that out? Who are the priviest? Because this particular project... I like how that guy in the background was well, just looking at his baseball bat like, oh, yeah, I'm a baseball bat. You are going to give it to me by 10 p.m. What, why? Tomorrow. Why? Or Commander Kane will know that you are the one who convinced him his daughter was dead. It was reasonable to assume you were dead. Well, yeah, that was absolutely. Yeah. Everybody thought that. <laughs> the city stopped looking. Well, she, unless she planted the brain fragment things, but how do you fix this is, that? This is actually nuts. <laughs> <laughs> You're Batwoman. Huge fan. Why? But not in like a new one. was bordering on last season. I need your help. I heard you discreet. Deeper voice. Oh my god. Yeah, anything. That's the thing. She broke in and dropped her dying. He would needed to like. I guess he's just alive still. So you chained him up to the point where Hopefully you're asking alive. if his life can be saved? Wow, how wants... competent of you. He's such a terrible Did you superhero. Stand up there? <laughs> what are you standing up there for? Why are you here? Everyone's looking for a woman when we should be looking for a bird. What? 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 Uh, how did she get in? How, how did, did they, you- yeah. <laughs> They imply that Alice is hard to find, by the way, which is pretty hilarious. She's like, openly gotten caught wow. once, oh, and should have been caught way more than that. They both got it. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Birds of a feather should flock together. I'm allergic to feathers. Oh no. I'm allergic to feathers is- Also, no deeper voices for their enemies, I guess. An egg. Really committed to this whole bird thing, aren't you? Let's have a chat activity. during a fight. Wait, what? How do you know what those are? That was a weird. <laughs> what? 
So she threw the batarang at the window, it hit the window, and it bounced back, and she... How are you supposed to catch that? It's she treated that like she blade. failed the boomerang catch, but how would it boomerang when it hit the window? <laughs> it's also not boomerang-shaped, but... Yeah, the, the whole thing was weird. It's not broken. If it worked, I would have caught it. Should I flip your wrist back with the snap and a You're bat splaining. Bat splaining? The idea that she could fuck up is so alien as a concept that it must be Batman's batarang that fucked up. Wow. <laughs> the plot acknowledges that she can't fuck up. What are they talking about? Like, it failed. It's Why a fucking it boomerang. Her? It's, it's like, <laughs> you throw it the right way and it comes back. I'll be here, not dating anyone, because I love to work. Love to work. This is great. Why are you helping her if you hate it? <laughs> if she's assaulted you twice, by the way, and you don't like working for her, and you have no motivation to, and she's clearly letting evil people go. Like, why? What is your motivation? Alice was playing it when she broke into the penthouse the other night. Mm -hmm. Alice plays the cello. Do you think? Okay. What'd you bring me? <laughs> <laughs> um, the report detailing the bomb that blew up Alice's transport van. It's an IED using high standard components. It hit Alice's van with a 99.9% .9 accuracy. No, it, it hit with a 100% yeah, accuracy. It what, what does she mean, 90 something? Like, what? A sensor with that level of detection is unreleased technology unique to Hamilton Dynamics. Bitch, have you been to saying? Afghanistan? No, what if somebody was looking at it and pressed a button? Yeah, we've already established yeah. that we have moles in the crows. We know that there was at least one. <laughs> so yeah. what do you mean? What what God. what actually do you see in Kate Kane? Like what what do you actually see in her? We don't even know how, how much like time has passed since they first met. I am oddly distracted by the fact that this is Chicago. Like this is clearly yeah. Chicago. <laughs> like this it's is, it's really this is it's really Chicago. yeah. Like it's, it's, it's this really, is Gotham. Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> it's it's really distracting. I'm oddly distracted by the fact that this show is treating it as though these two have been in a relationship for a while. It's like, you guys hadn't even been on a first date 15 minutes ago. You were literally evicted from your childhood. That's awful. Not that I wanted to live in a cross district anyway. God, I don't care about any of you. No way. Of course I did. Another Get back. fucking bad symbol, dude. What is it that you do again? Really, just keeping tabs on my cousin's building. Come on. 9.30, no emergencies. 9.30, no emergencies, but that's the time that yeah, the woman the is going to get her. Oh, yeah. no. 9.30. Are you guys cool with pausing? That's that's the that's the explosive. That's what it looks like. It looks like a little little bitty bird. I'm just looking at this picture right now. There's some weird crow. And it's like a weird circle with a dent in it. It has four screws in it. What the fuck is that even? <laughs> What is that? That's a water bottle above it. Like, what was happening? Is he, like, he knows this explodes, right? Wouldn't it be funny if he just nudged it the wrong way and it blew up in his face? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, these things explode. Yeah, but apparently they only like... nearly kill people, so it's fine. Yeah, but still, you lose a <laughs> finger or two or three. I mean, that the fact that that explosion didn't kill the gun is incredible. It was, nearly it was killing huge. a gun. It was like... Well, Three or four of those things. Like, it's oh. it's hard to tell how deadly they are because the CGI is so terrible. <laughs> so I don't know if it's like a flashbang or an explosion or what. Yeah. Also, I've noticed that this jewel thief hasn't killed a guard, which means because she's not lethal, Batwoman is on the case. <laughs> but if this this person, if this jewel thief starts killing people, Bat Batwoman's just gonna be like, ah, just try not to do it again, please. I have a very tolerant policy when it comes to murderers. <laughs> You know, but don't do it again! I can only look for them after I release my pr prisoner of war and tortured him to death so I don't break the Geneva Convention. Like, that's insane! Like, she kept him <laughs> hung up in a dungeon, essentially. For probably a week To the now. point where he would die of an, an infected leg wound? <laughs> like, that's yeah, like, wow. a <laughs> Yeah. You know, had you been caught in traffic, he might have been dead. That's insane! I can't believe she said you're bad splaining. <laughs> you're bad splaining. That was pretty unbelievable. Jesus. It's broken. You've been using this tech for like two days. Maybe you just made a mistake, you stupid cunt. Unauthorized entry. Oh no. She stole the necklace. I feel like she could have taken it before he got upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. I have to get it back. What? Magpie you have mass prison. murderers to deal with. Explosive ink. It's regulated. Only a few companies sell it. Explosive oh, yeah. ink. Explosive ink. That's what's in those things, I guess. <sighs> Why do they just keep like that. letting her look at this classified I'm information? I don't know. <laughs> that she would know about it. Does that pop up? And Sophie's just like, 
yeah, sure. Well, here, here you go. Here's the info. Well, I mean, take an old bets. Will those two end up together at the end of the season? Will they kiss? Oh yeah, she, she's gonna get divorced. Obviously, I'm, I'm counting on it. Honestly, here, the husband will either be evil or he'll be. Killed. Why would you? Why would you Why, kick what? it? <laughs> why would you kick it? <laughs> what is even happening? Wait, who are these? Who are these guys? They knew exactly how many there'd be, I guess. Oh. What's so clever of Catherine to send you boys to find my cozy burrow? Who's oh. Catherine? Evil Mum. How come Evil Mum has all appreciate. of this money and technology, That's and these just random thugs are better than everybody? How do you know these are Catherine's goons? I'm not playing games. What do you mean? All you do is play games. Amy. Mimi, no. But how has she not been stopped yet? You put it in him. <laughs> He's like, you gotta pay attention to the itty bitty body roll rules. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, you're not gonna be able to do that. Yeah, the the way she was holding it as well, and the fact that it's such a weak yeah. tool for something like that. You know, if this woman actually will... is that powerful, then she'll just send like people with body armor and tanks, and you she'll think? assault the no, whole building. No, she'll send it's... street level thugs. Three I, of them. I uh, I love how this character is explaining the whole Batman secret identity bull, you know, thing. Like he's he's like, oh, you know, Batman was, you know, Bruce Wayne was the real secret identity. It's like, yeah, thanks, Dick. I know that. <laughs> you don't need to explain it to me. I had the facility gave it to me. Do I want to know how you got him to tell you that? Let him take a selfie. Why would people it. like Batwoman? Like, in-universe, why actually would they like Batwoman? She did uh, one thing once. The suit can lower your body temperature to match the room and bypass the sensors. That oh, seems that very that seems, dangerous. That seems <laughs> legal. How long can you hold your breath for? It's dicey after two minutes. Right, two that's minutes? Long that's you. long. You train, guys. What if the bomb is just rigged to the door and it's normal and once she opens it, it blows... I <laughs> He's actually got an oxygen counter on his lungs. I mean, realized it was calibrated for Bruce, who has longer arms than you. I, I, what? 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 It, the Batarang was calibrated for Bruce? He has longer arms. It makes sense. How Guys, does that it, make was, sense? it was the technology that failed. It wasn't her. It was the technology. You cannot I... fuck up. That makes no sense at all. How wouldn't what doing these doing? things not change the temperature to a very minor degree? Like all these different movements and attaching things to things. Surely it does something. And no, if no, she no, if no, she, no, she no, runs no, out remember of how breath, you said you can't breathe because of kinetic energy? She can just leave and then walk back in. Yeah, there's no real. Oh. Also, wouldn't wow, opening the, the door change the temperature of the room because you're letting what, in the air from the hallway? Did she sneezed? <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is the most stu a sneeze will Sorry. set off a bot. How does she get in her own? Well, maybe she already oh. sets it whenever she leaves, Rags. Whatever. Oh. I'm not actually Alan. <sighs> curiouser and curiouser. He's select. He's, he's. Wait, I want to see what she does with this. I don't know how bad the ride's going to get. She has big plans for him. Sweet mother of convenient delusion. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> it's like, literally, the writers are like, can yeah, the, the capture bad guy has a delusion and she spills a plan. Goodness. Also, maybe don't keep the pills in that same place from now on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is the magpie going to be started and solved in one episode? Of course it is. It's one and done every week. So horribly paced. Who needs a villain that stays there for the whole season? Well, you say that we got Alice, Alice, who mysteriously escapes Captain oh, yeah. Death all the time. So maybe well, it's not mysterious. Batwoman just lets her go. Or well, she survives bizarrely because reasons. Don't forget, Rag. She was blowed up twice and survived. So, how, how, does Alice, how does Alice pay like for her rent and electricity and all that? I don't understand that? it. I don't understand any of it. She could have been captured so many times. Does this look done to you? Oh my god. Oh my god, she cut off your finger. You want a gun? Do it yourself. Yeah. She owns a massive corporation, say, the world's most advanced defense form. Yeah, you know what, he's Just right. Just fucking blow up the building! He's right, you should, use, you should use your massive amount of resources. How strong- this gang is like the most deadly fo- <laughs> This gang of street thugs is the most deadly force in all the world. They're more Without capable doing than ISIS. She's in fear of them. <laughs> oh, who wants to bet this is probably the same set as that previous episode in the hotel? Absolutely it is. Oh no. She's gonna be here and she's gonna have to deal with the stolen shit and, and, and ruin the date. Like, I'll have to go and she'll be like, but honey, 
What about me? I would have told her beforehand, there might be some shit going on here, I heard. Maybe you shouldn't be around those jewels. Maybe, you know, with all the stuff that we've been hearing. I wonder if by the end of the episode we're going to have a big blowout. <laughs> like a big dramatic blowout. She's like, you always choose your life over me. This relationship yeah. can't work. All I ask for is a little honesty. <laughs> I'm not in a place right now where I can share all of myself with someone else. Like, I really hope they do that. No, oh, and no, she's no, here too. Oh, no, but the I figured drama. With the jewelry oh. beef, we could use the extra but I figured with the jewelry beef on the pro, we could use the extra manpower. The old manpower has literally hey. never done anything. Regan, hi. I'm sorry, I'm late. <laughs> sorry, I didn't realize you were here with anyone. Jesus. She, looks, she fucking looks like Cruella DeVille. And what is this seat? Stop it! I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking chemistry's off the chart. <laughs> Everyone hires the crows, they don't do fuck all. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand so, why. I don't that's know. pretty awkward though. That's like, right. the, the jewelry that's most associated with her death. Here it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is like, empowering she was, she was, women. You know, this is beautiful. She was wearing it when she got shot this in the neck. This is Antoinette's dress. <laughs> really, 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 we clean the blood off. It's okay. It's a yeah. it's the last She's like a bomb in here. Wait, are you telling me right now that that necklace is a bomb? I guess that's what they were going to everyone like, out of there if that's for. true. Yeah, just, just, even if you're literally, that like, be, unironically yeah. call a bomb threat. Yeah. Trust me, I'm carrying around a submachine gun. I really hope that necklace doesn't end up exploding. What they... what? Wait. Oh, no. Oh, God, it's the soundtrack. Oh, the music. The music. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Wait, what, what is that? Wait, what the <laughs> fuck? What? Oh, oh. What? God. She's protecting all the individual. What? Wait, how is the ball? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? They're not doing anything. What is happening? They're not lethal, apparently. Yeah, they barely no. explode. Why is that box not what is, locked? What is this? <laughs> There's too many questions. Uh, oh, no, it's uh, heading to a little girl. All no. the way out the building. It rolled all the way to a little girl. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's picking it up. No. Oh, no. <laughs> little girl, don't do it. Please explode. Please explode. Please explode. What? What? <laughs> it doesn't do anything. <laughs> she called the like super small explosions. What? <sighs> Look, she's inspiring. She's inspiring, she's inspiring to the little girl. It's so bad. What? Not this it? music. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, did you just? Whoa! What, what the fuck? <laughs> into the pool? Did you pull her like a fucking truck? Like, how did you do that? People like you never notice people like me. She was the camera woman in the, uh, in the interview at the beginning of this episode, apparently. What? Your pebbles sucked, they didn't do anything. Your pebbles were shit. <laughs> they, they were just like neon lights, I guess. Yeah. Why did, why did they all blow up at separate times? Hey, I just noticed that literally all the parties that we go to involve terrorist attacks. Um, it's kind of weird. Uh oh, uh oh, drama. Oh no. I'm gonna make an effort. You haven't earned this at all. Oh, no. We don't know, there know anything about your relationship. There are people. It's also it's raining now. It won't be in the next shot. I bet. <laughs> no, I was right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Fun and cool and Why have it at all? No, it's look, not even no, like, they're breaking up. No. You obviously I don't care. We don't. I, no. We don't care. We've known each other for three afternoons. She's choosing Batwoman over her own wants and needs, and that's like the I guess the moral of this episode. It was all. It's so like this, this really feels like writing school 101. This is where you all begin, and you need to improve dramatically from this because this is so shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice surprise. Where were you the whole time? Nice surprise. <laughs> you nothing. Not, that, not that you do anything, you know, you but... Okay. You sit in the office and slam your laptop thing down. What'd you bring me? What do you got for me? <laughs> Throw it across the room. Then Alice has taken interest. Well, what? It doesn't matter. Ah, uh, it does matter. A lot. Yeah, it does. Don't answer that, it could be her. What? Well, okay, then answer it. Still know it. Yeah. yeah, we need to know what she has to say. I thought it was the right thing to do. You planted the, the head fragments, surely. 
They found bones. From a deer. But deers aren't humans. I, I paid the DNA analyst to write the report. Why Is would that you something tell you can this? do? That's like super illegal. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you even tell him this? Alice was gonna reveal it, so why would Alice have a grudge against him or the sister? Well, if Alice says that, then all Catherine yeah, needs to say is, no, she's bullshit. a fucking crazy yeah. person like, and she wants to fuck with yeah, you, just like with the cello Oh yeah, stuff. absolutely, you could definitely do that. But why would Alice be pissed at anybody but her? Yeah, yeah if, if Alice knew that she is the one who fooled everybody... <laughs> an hour later and I may not have been able to. You almost <laughs> killed him! <laughs> you also saved a lot of innocent lives. Trust no, you, you didn't. Now. Not really. I trust Bat. I'm starting a real estate firm. Oh, you just oh, gotta start. Okay. You don't have the time for a relationship. For a for a relationship. You're agree. gonna start a real That's estate firm? Keep the rent slow and give them back to the community. How do you have the, the money to start a real estate firm? Right. How do you have the expertise or knowledge to do it? How do you have no? What is your background? What there are, you, are so many questions. No you don't have the time to keep a relationship going more than three days, and you think that you have the time? Oh, the bat signal is off. Living this double life is a sacrifice. But our city is worth it. I'm just gonna announce uh, what the whole episode is about, by the way, guys. Oh, thank Christ. What an absolute fucking terrible, another <laughs> calamity. What Wait, is this good. music? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, okay. The episode starts off. You've got uh, the the jewel heist, right? You've got uh, Magpie is her name. And she just breaks into buildings and takes stuff because nobody fucking locks anything anymore, I guess. <laughs> so there's a guard that shows up and he gets mini bomb flashbang. They're literally on his feet or at his feet. And they just I guess that's her blow gimmick. Up. She has explosions that do nothing. Like there are fiery blasting explosions that do no damage. Remember, they're ink explosions. <laughs> Whatever that Exploding means. Exploding ink. Oh. Powerful stuff this episode. So as predicted, because this is some of the most rote and basic ideas when it comes to writing, it's like, we'll make her date this person, and by the end of the episode, Batwoman will have gotten in the way, and she has a dramatic thing where she's like, oh, I can't do it, yeah. can't, can't maintain it. It's just so impossible. I, the writing in this show is so amateur. This, it, it's like... Even everything is so on the nose about what they're going to do each episode because of the oh, narration. Yeah. And then well, even it's... when driven completely home at the end, she's like, I'm going to tell the viewer what this episode was yeah. about and what I've learned. It's like, guys, you don't write like this. <laughs> and, and, and to do it over one episode. It's like... like children sitting in a circle going, and then, and then, and yeah. then. Well, and it... it's also, it's just, it's one coincidence after to have another. Your, um... it's... Your superhero like archetype, they'll, a lot of them will deal with this problem, like I said. And just the everybody's just you know has different ways of doing it. It's like the first thing, if you like do it one episode, I'd be like, no, you can't no. do something as huge and, you as know, balancing usually, your life with a superhero life in one episode. And the thing is, like, usually, you know, they apply a little bit more pressure to the hero than just like, I want to be on the date, but I'm gonna save people's life. Like, you like, like a like, teenage you know, high school like, drama. Oh yeah, it's she so barely knows this person. This person's like, oh, I can't handle this. You need to be, you know, you need to be with me. Can't be doing this. Like, you yeah. went on one date where she was partially busy and she lied to you twice, and the lies didn't quite match up. You'd just be like, okay, can we restart? Like, we, I kind of fucked up. Also, but yeah. I just it's so contrived. It's like you happen to go her. to the same fucking party that the famous villain of the city <laughs> is also stealing from. Like, really? Yeah. You couldn't say, oh, I'm so sorry, I can't make it. Just separate the- it, the implication is there's a fucking villain to deal with every single day of her life or something. It's like, oh my god, you lined up your date with your girlfriend at the same time as you <laughs> taking down the villain. This is your fault. Also, why would Magpie- if she just wants that necklace, come back tomorrow when the place isn't full of machine gun armed security in a whole crowd, just come back yeah, that later. Was, that's pretty why, special, of all Magpie. the time, of all the times to come here, this is literally the worst time. Well, remember, they store the necklace in Wayne Manor in the exact same place that she stole it from. What did she have to do to break in? Uh, apparently, literally just go through a fucking window, just like Kate Kane can. Like, any person can break in. And grab that necklace mm. anyway. But that you know, he was alerted and he came in with a, a stun gun that does fuck all because Magpie <laughs> has ink bombs. Just wait till tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you gotta do, Magpie. And she's like, no, 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 I'll go today. Is Magpie cool with killing a bunch of innocent people? I guess. Like she's so, I guess she's like literally fine with killing people. 
And you, you can't oh, make the argument like, no, it. she's killing the 1% or something. I'd be like, well, the fucking little girl nearly had her face blown off, <laughs> assuming those explosives do something when you're right next to them. But, like, did she actually jump on top of every single bomb? No, she didn't. What no, a lot of them just blew up, but they're they not do lethal. Or... Yeah, they just explode, like, right next to people, and they just, like, don't care. Yeah, they're going off, like, fucking inches from people's feet, and it doesn't do fuck all. Do we, do we, did was... they mention anything about anyone being injured? No. No. And, and then secondly... Also, she apparently threw oh. the battering. <laughs> well, bat Accurate woman. enough. At that distance, to hit a tiny little bead out of a girl's outstretched. <laughs> Imagine if a cut off her fingers, and it's just like, <laughs> oh, whoops! Well, I saved you, you know. And also, just, it's like, I think a little I'm, appreciation. Jesus Christ! That woman like deflects the damage from one of the bombs when there's nobody in the room. She's like, <laughs> she just takes got the it. There's like in nobody face, there. Like, if I was watching that happen, I'd be like, what "You doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're embarrassing what, what superhero." Are you doing? Are you okay? Does the light just, not hurt? I love that one bead. It just it goes directly <laughs> outside into a girl's hand. Like what the fuck? Mummy, I found a pebble. Were they on a higher floor? <laughs> this whole thing or was it just on a lower floor? I thought they were. I actually guess it was like, on the ground floor. But yeah, I, it must yeah, have been. I thought they were upstairs too. Uh, I don't know. I mean, nothing makes sense. And, I, and like Alice cut off some dude's finger and was just like, oh, and I'll let you go, you know, you know, whatever. I need to look at the scene where she just pulls her off the fucking building. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well, hang on, we'll get to that because I still have I got just a few more questions about this. Here deflecting those balls when there's no one there, it's like like someone's shooting a target practice and you jump in front of the bullet saying, I'll save you! Like, what are you doing? <laughs> She's so stupid. Like I said, Batwoman does not call a bomb threat to get everyone out. Magpie yeah. pulled the fire alarm, right? So why did Magpie even bother with the explosive necklace? I don't know, because Maybe she knew that Batwoman really would be there. You wanna leave? But <laughs> leave faster, come on! What? I just... The whole plan Just for throw, Magpie is Throw retarded. a Molotov so there's an actual fire! You could say that she wanted to do like a distraction for Batwoman, but she didn't even know Batwoman would show up. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and so... plus, if she really wanted to cause some damage, if she blew up all the necklaces at once, surely that would have been like akin to just a and, grenade in the middle of the room, and it would have caused stole, some Magpie stole a, a necklace in some hallway? She just picks it up and goes, ah ha ha. It's like, you could have stolen that without doing touching anyone in that room. They were all busy looking at the fucking Martha Wayne necklace. You could have just broken yeah. in, done that, and left. Instead, she has these non-lethal explosions that, for some reason, have to be let off. She pulls the fire alarm so everyone's running around, and she, like, baits Batwoman. But yeah, we, we can move on to the next bit if you want, so... I'm paused. <laughs> that is high up as fuck. That's, one, that's one yeah, she's at least the one, two, fifth, three, four, five, fifth, six, six, six and a half, seventh floor. Yeah. Oh, you reckon? I, I, I thought it was, judging by if those are like windows, she's certainly on oh, well, yeah, well, the floor. Oh, well, that's stuff below it. start at ground floor, because we're looking yeah. upwards. Yeah, so she is, she like, is at a least good this, 30 meters off the ground at Yeah, this at point, least 60 say. feet. Now, but yeah. she pulled her, anybody, so that woman pulled her across the street into and, and a for, fountain. I want to guess, for, for reference, right, there's a lot that's wrong with this. So it's convenient she landed in water, but at this height, it wouldn't probably fucking matter. Because you've got the force of pulling her, which is which is enough to increase speed. But then the force of falling for these, however, yeah. that's a fucking yeah. height. This, that is. This isn't guaranteed lethal. This will fuck you up. Yeah, and that's a fountain, by the way. It's not a deep pool. Well, it's like a like half meter. She is. What does she look like when she falls into it? Is she like. She she's doesn't sink very far. She, look, she, she sort of she's, hits it. I was going to say, you can see that she's already able to reach the surface of it while lying down. That's how fucking shallow it is. So she is. De and, and also, how did Batwoman know the fountain was there? It looks like she and can't how do even you see pull someone to, Look how specifically small this fountain is. Yeah. Yeah, you could have easily missed. And, and then it's like, oh, killed it. you're dead. <laughs> and or at the very least, paraplegic. And let's address the, the final convenience. Uh, you fucking fired a grappling hook into a person. Did you puncture her? <laughs> I think it, it was meant to wrap around her, but the <sighs> PS1 pre-rendered graphics... I was gonna say, that's some know, lucky, lucky shooting there, Batwoman. Also, <laughs> I mean, I guess Magpie's like, the best way to exit is right over the front <laughs> of the building, <laughs> where everybody is. It's almost like there is specifically a spotlight on the spot where she was going. Look at that. Yeah, I know what yeah. you mean, yeah. 
It's yeah, almost, like, it, it feels like a cartoon. She's like, I'll be back, Batwoman. <laughs> <laughs> Grapples her off a building. <laughs> no, fuck you. No, you villain of week. No. <laughs> it's times like this when I appreciate, you know, like the the handful of good superhero shows that have good fight choreography. Oh, absolutely. And, like, See, this is the thing. You know, like, you can, Daredevil and this, they're in yeah. two different fucking dimensions. Like, it's. You got Daredevil with these amazing fight scenes, great cinematography, atmospheric lighting, great soundtrack, and then you got. Do -do 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 <laughs> oh shit, a grappling hook got you! Woo! Oh look, I'm an evil villain in here, kick, kick! Fuck! This show is so bad! <laughs> also, it's the crows who are taking her into custody and not the cops, and the cops are here. I don't the understand that dynamic. Shit. Where are the police? Where They're the here. That's the, they are here. The the police are in the scene. What the, the fuck? Gotham City police are here. They're they're all they're talking to people. They're doing all this stuff. It's the crows who are taking her into custody. So you come off of Joker, which has just this amazing world building for Gotham. It it's just you got a very clear picture of what that setting is like. But in this show, I don't Dude, know who's who. Rags is very right. You even have a cop making way for the crows to capture her. Yeah. They're oh, everywhere. Oh. There's a copy and like, get out of the way, people, get out of the way, the crows are here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not kidding. Holy crap. I like how as well, so she's picked out of the fountain, right, and carried forward, and in that time, Batwoman has already changed into cake. <laughs> her Locked clothes are on the top you... floor. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. They took that long to get her out of the fountain, and Batwoman has turned into cake cane. Well, it's a pretty sure when she knocks out the pebble out of the girl's hand when she exp explodes. That fucking Batarang is not coming back. Plot acknowledges that Kate Kane cannot make a mistake. It has to be the gear. No. It was calibrated for Bruce Wayne. Long arms. <laughs> Honestly, the only way that- I love she covered up the kid as well. That explosion is so fucking minuscule. The way it comes back, it's like it's literally like a homing mechanical device that like comes back with magnetism or something. <laughs> oh, tism, all right. Also, um, it like flies into the air in a completely straight line into the street. So interestingly, I was just thinking, right, episode one, bad guy was Alice and the introduction of everything. Episode two, it was Alice again. Uh, with a bonus of his subordinate, I guess. And then third episode, yeah. it was Billionaire Man, and fourth episode is Mag Magpie. Do you reckon they'll do another Villain of the Week next episode, or it'll be more about Alice and uh, the family again? Or? I, I think that what they're going to do, because if this is meant to be like 24 episodes, or however long it's meant to be, the Alice isn't going to get taken down until the very end. <laughs> so they're just going to keep padding oh, it. Oh yeah, they're you're just right. keep padding and padding. Mm -hmm. I guess what I'm saying is like, it's, this isn't the difference between filler and plot, it's literally just, I'm just saying like, Monster of the Week versus Alice episode. I have no idea, I don't, I, this is what I mean, you can't get a read on where this show is gonna go because it's so badly written. You know, with good movies you can generally get an idea of where something's gonna go without knowing exactly what's gonna happen, but with this show, like, the structure is so confused and stupid. It's kind of insane, we skipped Batwoman and her girlfriend getting to know each other. We skipped that. Yeah. I mean, that could have been a whole few episodes. I thought you learned around the boomerang. You didn't specifically design the boomerang to you. Like, all right, we've created a boomerang. All right, I will learn this boomerang, and I will practice with it extensively so it will do the, these very repeatable things that I need it to do for me. Well, the thing is, is that she never trains with anything. She just knows how to use all of the equipment that yeah, she gets. Perfectly. She never has to figure it out. You know, she never makes any mistakes with it. I mean, like... <laughs> Have we ever seen her learn how to use the grappling hook? She's just no. always known. How Even in the first episode, she knew when it was the PS1, you know, graphic. She knew how to fly <laughs> with the cape. I feel like you need to yeah. practice a bit with that. I think I mentioned that. I'm pretty sure that the reason why Arrow came to be was because they wanted to make a Batman show and, and Warner Brothers said, nah, you can't do that. And so they, they made um Arrow instead. Maybe, like, this is just not a format that can work for this type of you know, hero, because um, the fights are all terrible. Yeah, you know, it'd be like if they made an Iron Man TV show. I don't think they would do that. Or like a, a live-action Spider-Man TV show. It just never would happen. They're too, they're too good. Like, they're too, they're too well-respected. Let's go through the stray observations. This is from the Batwoman is still no Batman, and that's the whole point. This article from AV Club. So observation number one, Magpie was a pretty good addition to Batwoman's rogue gallery. She had style. She had some witty <laughs> remarks. Overall, a good adversary. If that's what constitutes witty dialogue, then holy shit, that... standards have fallen. What, what a fucking worthless statement. There's nothing in there. It's like, she's pretty good. Overall good. Good. 
<laughs> okay. So we have yeah. number two. The addition of the Rihanna quote, hurt me with the truth, don't comfort me with a lie, was a nice touch, and Riri's influence strikes again. Which is, I guess, just, I guess the idea of I'd rather know the truth than a pleasant this, this, lie. I guess that's a Rihanna thing. All this right. show avoids the truth like the plague. I want to mention three. as well, the adversary, it's like... You have an episode where she's dealing with the dual life and having to decide on an identity, and you have the villain be focused on, you guys don't see me, but I see you. <laughs> it's like, why didn't you well, go for a villain that was about duality or something like that? Or identity? You should, you should actually try and tie everything together. I was yeah, having well, a conversation well, yeah. about it. Yeah, like, Magpie did... seems to be a villain that probably should have been a part of a different episode. Well, I mean, I, I, e, why is it the Punisher is such an interesting character to play off of Daredevil? It's because they're very similar. It's just that he's taken it one step further, and there's a reason for that. And it's like, huh, that's we could have something there, or you could do it with, um, you know, why is it that Joker has always been such a great dynamic against Batman? It's because they're both opposite, but they're very similar. Well, but and in this one, it's just like fucking bull. Spider-Man Two dealing with Octopus in a, in a movie where he's his 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 fight of Spider-Man versus Peter Parker is like come to a huge head in that film. And he's dealing yeah, with a villain um, whose uh, goal to create renewable energy is taken over his entire humanity, and it's part of what he tries to regain by the end of the film. Generally works pretty well, but the, but the thing is with this show is I don't think that they would ever do an episode where there wasn't a direct antagonist that has to get fought in the end. I I think. It's going to be that type of show where there always has to be a fight scene in every episode and a, and yeah, a that woman bad saved guy the day to fight. In the end, yeah, yeah, it's it's very. You know, I thought we moved past this. I thought we were past you know everything getting wrapped up conveniently. I've been watching season six of BoJack Horseman, and the whole thing with that show is that things don't get conveniently wrapped up at the end of the episode because that's not how life works. You're not just going to beat them. And then get over your big issue this episode, and it's fine, and that's the end of your development. That's not how it works. Don't mind Kate just nonchalantly mentioning Killer Croc as pillow talk. But in all seriousness, why does Batwoman feel like it's doing such a good job of really tying in other DC characters and villains? Other Arrowverse shows do it as well but it seems like the show is name-dropping in every episode. So far, it's mentioned Wonder Woman, The Riddler, and Killer Croc, to name a few. And I'm not mad about it. I actually like keeping my ears open each week to see what else they'll reveal. It's just something to know. Uh, now I have many questions. Yeah. That's just Wonder superficial Woman, as fuck. Well, I mean, my yeah. thing is, like, if, if Wonder Woman and, you know, Batman, Superman, and, like, your big main, you know, superheroes in the DC... I mean, Flash has his own show, and he's part of the Justice League, but, you know, like, if you got these big, powerful superheroes, then why do we never see them? Why do we not, Why do you never see them in the crossover episodes that they do in this series? Well, it's like, where are they? It says, why does Batwoman feel like it's doing such a good job of really tying in other DC characters and villains? Like, literally, just the name is mentioned, and that's it! Yeah, that's the We said the name. We tied tie this in, in amazingly, because we said the name. One of the characters said their name. It's a great tie-in, Rags, what are you talking about? You know, like, the reason why it's such a cool tie-in for Thor to just bump into Doctor Strange in New York is because it's like, we know that these characters have things going on, and that well, sometimes their paths are gonna cross. Yeah, we'd be hypocrites if we simultaneously said, it's dubbed that in Iron Man 3 that Thor doesn't get alerted, that Captain America isn't involved, etc. But then if we also say, oh, it's dumb that they just show up in each other's movies sometimes, it's like, no, no, no. Why would Doctor Strange be in invested in Thor? It's like, well, Doctor Strange's job is to protect reality, and there's this fucking guy mm -hmm. Who can summon There's lightning and travel at will through an enormous teleporting thing that burns the ground? He needs to know what he's up to. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what what is the point of a cinematic universe if not for the characters to interact like they do in the comics? You know, to bump into each other, to have yeah, their I'm, paths cross. I'm fine with it as long as it's within reason. But in this show, all they do it is going, "Hey, so uh, Wonder Woman, cool. Wonder I Woman? had a man riddle me the answer." <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that. Like, whoa, what an ex <sighs> what incredible world building. The world building is shit. Like, it's really deficient in right, this show. Right, what part of the writing is not shit? There's nothing. There's <laughs> nothing. It's, it's like, it's I just say one specific thing, yeah. but it's everything. It's all bad. This is like, it's not only basic, it's really badly basic. Like, they can't even achieve the basics. No, Reagan was a good all. match for Kate. <laughs> so it's a bummer their relationship didn't work out right now. 
With this newfound responsibility, Kate had to make this sensical call while navigating Batwoman duties. But wow, that's why this sucks. The budding shippers are in mourning. It's fine. I don't care about shipping. I'm sick of shipping. Not every Why not we... every character has but to get in a romantic relationship. This is like the opposite of shipping, though, because there's no personalities to put together. They only did have sex. That's pretty much all it was. You'd be like, oh, I want to well, ship these two. You're like, why? Yeah, like, tell me about these two. Like, describe their relationship to me. And actually try and do it. Well, this, this is what I mean. It's like, you, you compare it to, like, the, the relationship between Tony and Pepper, where it's like, they're always sort of, like, bouncing off of each other. They've always got a response for each other. And um, and then there's, like, the issues of his responsibilities as Iron Man often causing a stress. You know, like, there's something to talk about there. Here, it's, what is that? Did you all die at Mary's Alice impression? It was pretty good. Not to mention fast thinking. Mary is always making us proud, isn't she? No. No, I was Who confused. the fuck watches this shit and like, there are people who unironically think that these shows are good. Like, this was a really solid episode and it's proving that Batwoman only has good things to come. <laughs> Oh, I mean, how do you, how do you reach that conclusion? Well, <laughs> yeah, I suppose, yeah. Good. I can't believe that people think this is good. I it's mean, there's insane. so much wrong with it. I found something like good about the baffling. episode. I don't get it. How can people think this is good? How are people standards just so low? They just clap at everything like a trained seal. That's what I have got to contribute today. <laughs> it's like a, it's a little half penis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's a good catch. That's kind of penis. Yeah. I like it. That's it's what my half drunken brain catches today. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this this ride will be fun. Sure, it'll be. A, you know, what, once we get to the finale, we're probably gonna re lament that there's no more episodes to talk about. Is yeah, every episode mm. is like a. It's like an adventure, man. Though I will say, <laughs> yeah. this might. What do you guys think? This might have been the best episode so far. Maybe. I I still think episode probably. three is the worst. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's what I'm episode saying. Like this is horrible. probably the best one, and that's sad. Uh... <laughs> But it was so bad. I don't, I don't know. It's hard to rank something like this. Two, uh, yeah. Because it's not so much best as least broken. It's between. Yeah. I want to say it's between two and four, but then two had some stupidism in it. No. Two had a lot of stupid got, things. Yeah, I was gonna say, it has to be between two one and four. Two was the car explosion underwater. I think no, it has you know to be what? It has four, to be yeah. four is the best. I think it has to be four. There's not yeah. every episode up to now has had so many stupid things happen. This one's got stupid things, but. <laughs> Congratulations, episode four. High five. <laughs> you did it. Um, Good job. Uh, yeah, so um, thanks thanks for watching, everybody. That was uh, just it's nightmarish as usual. I guess we'll see you next week. I'm going to go kill yeah. myself now. Bye. Hey. What'd you bring me?